Hey y'all, we're back. Same place, same outfit. Still here. <laughs> Still here. <laughs> haven't left. So if you haven't watched our first video together, well, this is Joe. If you didn't watch, if you watched the first video, you know. If you didn't, then you need to go watch it because it's all about CBD and just basic stuff like what is it, how do we use it, um, what is it good for. This video, I wanted to really talk about the quality and kind of the production of it mm. because because CBD is so popular now. There are a lot of companies that are coming out, and this is true for every industry. Like, there's always going to be like very low quality products. There's going to be mediocre products, and there's going to be high quality products. Mm. And of course, when you have higher quality products, the products are more expensive but you actually get what you pay for and it actually works. So I wanted to go through that with people to understand how important the quality actually is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So all these fancy jars, you know? Yeah, so we're gonna, you're gonna, cool gonna see some. So basically what Cured has prided ourselves on is basically a farm to table business model. This is actual hemp flour that has been grown in Boulder, Colorado, uh, about a half hour away from our manufacturing facility. And what we do at Cured is we grow hemp, we have partnerships with the labs that actually do the extraction and then we take that extract and we put it into all of our products so we see that product basically from seed to all the way into the consumer's hand in most industries supplement industry uh, and very much so in the cbd industry people are slapping a label on a bottle and that's okay some people start a business that way but that's not how we wanted to do it we wanted to control the whole thing to ensure the quality we, that we provide to our consumers. So we have the actual hemp flour. Uh, we grow that all up in Boulder, Colorado, as I was saying. And then from there, once we harvest it, we go through the extraction process. So you'll be able to see a couple different extracts uh, as I show you guys. This is basically crude. So this is what's gone through a CO2. Actually, this is alcohol extraction. Um, it's very dark. It's very minimally processed. It's just gone through one extraction process. Um, that is what happens for first pass extraction. Then from there, you can refine it into other things called distillate and isolate. This is a distillate. You can see it crystallizing in there. Um, basically what that's done is it's taken out some of uh, basically the plant material. It looks less planty, that dark color that you're seeing uh, in this full spectrum oil, or crude, sorry. And what you do from this to get to our full spectrum oil is you basically burn off all the alcohol that was used for the extraction and then you get down to um, something that is put into our full spectrum oils and then from there you go through a distillation process and you get down to this which is like a honey consistency this goes in our cookie dough products um, which we didn't show earlier um, and then from there you can refine it even more down to an isolate so this is a bunch of white powder, um, but this is 99.9% .9 pure CBD isolate and that's what's in our THC free products. Um, what we do is we test our products at every single step of the process. So I cannot stress how important that is. Yeah, like yeah. it's so crucial to actually know like what you think you're getting is what you are getting. And like a lot of people will not go out of their way to do that. Mm -hmm. And then like, you know, you'll see things like, oh, the FDA came and like found these people or the, you know, whatever happened. And like, you're actually going out of your way to get regulated before that ever happens. Yeah, there is no regulation right now, which is unfortunate. It's just like a huge part of the supplement industry that's not regulated by the FDA. But what we did is we, we prided ourselves on being able to do that. My, myself and my business partner both have aerospace engineering backgrounds. We've really, we've come from a very technical heavy background and we've used that to be able to bring the highest quality products to you guys. But what we do is we test our product when it's at the flower stage. We always stay below the 0.3% THC, which is the law, but we're also testing for, you know, what's, what's in the soil that we're growing. Are there pesticides that were in the ground from people growing there before? Um, are there heavy metals? Are there residual solvents when you go through the extract process and you have alcohol in it? Um, that stuff really, really matters. Really in matters. very, very small quantities, you're not going to notice an instantaneous effect. But just like there's shit in all the food that we eat, mm -hmm. lead, whatever it may be, that's what's in here because this is all earth-grown nutrition, basically. So we test our product at the farm. We test it at the lab level so to see if we have still... Uh, residual solvents in it, pesticides like I was saying, anything that might show up that's going to be harmful or we really don't even want to put into our customers' hands because we pride ourselves on that. Um, a lot of companies aren't doing that at all because they just get the final product. 
Um, but then even from there, once we have the product back in-house and then we formulate the actual product that goes to the consumer, we then bring this to the lab one more time and that. verify that there are actually 500 milligrams of cannabinoids in here. So every step of the process, we have verified that we have what we think we have and we're going to be able to deliver our customers a product that actually works and doesn't have anything else that's going to be harmful to them. Harmful. Yeah. Because and that's what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to make trying things to help people. better. <laughs> Not make but worse. <laughs> yeah. And so there's a lot of companies out there that don't do that. Um, it is a booming industry right now, which is great. That's why I'm here because I love the industry and I love seeing other companies come up in the industry. I know what it's like to start a business. It's fucking hard. But the thing is, is that you, if you're not providing your customers with what they deserve, it's not a long lasting thing. Yeah, you're and, not going to have a long term business. And that's, and that's the problem right now is that there are companies that are just, they're not doing the due diligence that they should. Um, and people just need to be cognizant of that. And that's something that we really pride ourselves on. And then what's here. so frustrating is it, it's the same thing with the supplement industry yeah. is when you get a low quality product, you're like, oh, it doesn't work. It's like, no, 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 this is actually supposed to work or this is supposed mm -hmm. to not make you like feel bad or whatever. Like I work with First Form, you guys know that. And a big objection to protein powder is a lot of people say they don't feel good from it and they get bloating and distension and all this terrible stuff. Well, that's because you have shit protein powder. Yeah. Now, there is a small percentage of people who do have an actual lactose problem, and that is very real, and I'm not downplaying that. But a lot of people will switch to first form proteins, and they're like, oh my god, like I don't have any of those problems anymore. Right. That's why, because there's not a bunch of fillers. fillers the way that they yeah. processed yeah. it, what they use low temperature process, like low temperature heat processing, all the whole different thing, and it's because they're actually keeping everything intact. So it's a more expensive process and it's a more expensive end product, mm -hmm. but you're actually getting what you pay for. So yeah. just be very wary. Like I'm not saying that you have to buy cured products if you're buying CBD, like we want you to enjoy CBD wherever you can yeah. get it, but just, you know, make sure that the company is legitimate. They know have, what to look for. Yeah. And yeah. if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out. They would answer anything yeah. um, regarding the products and are not hiding any of that. No, so, full transparency. That's what we pride, our, pride ourselves on. All of our testing results are on the website. Every single product has a batch number on the bottom, so you can go to that and you can hit us up and say, hey, I have this batch, can I see the test results from that? And we can instantly send those to you. Yeah, so that's amazing, and so you know you're getting a quality product that you're actually going to benefit from and are not just being scammed off the internet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you hadn't watched the first one, that was all about just CBD in general and what, like, why we use it, how we use it. The next video is going to be a Q&A from my Instagram, kind of the top questions that we've been getting. So thank you guys for tuning in and see us for the next one. Thanks, guys.